Good afternoon. I am Deshi Jayatilaka uh, from Center for Dengue Research, University of Free Jayadilakuda. So uh, today I'm going to present our findings on e 64 gene mutation associated with higher transmission in Sri Lankan SARS-CoV-2 virus strain. Uh, so, uh, so as all of you know, since March 2020, uh, Sri Lanka had several confined COVID-19 clusters coming up in several uh, parts of the country. And since in October, we, were, we are having this current epidemic outbreak. Okay. So uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus carrying B614G mutation is rapidly circulating globally. So therefore, uh, we carried out a mutation analysis to investigate the uh, D614G mutation in SARS-CoV-2 virus strain circulating in Sri Lanka. So first, what is this D614G mutation? It is that at the 614th amino acid position of the spike protein, the amino acid aspartate, is, uh, which is uh, shorthand as D, is replaced by glycine, which is shorthand as G. So the virologists call this mutation as D614G mutation. So we have done a uh, sequencing of 35 SARS-CoV-2 real-time artificial positive samples and um, since the beginning of this pandemic. So as per methodology, uh, we carried out sequencing in two different uh, approaches. Initially, this shotgun metagenomic approach, and then later target sequencing approach, which we thought better than this uh, shotgun metagenomic approach. So, um, af so at the end of sequencing reads by both methods, the and also after further analysis, the resulting sequences were uh, compared against this uh, anotel SARS-CoV-2 isolate uh, reference sequence from Wuhan for mutation. So uh, we observed that out of 35 C virus strains that we sequenced, 29 had this D614G mutation. So, um, and interestingly, out of 23 uh, strains that we sequenced from this current outbreak, 22 had the mutation. So, uh, so that means from October to November, out of 23, 22 had the uh, D614G mutation. So if I go back to the, uh, to the beginning of this of, of this pandemic in March, uh, the virus strains of returnees from uh, several returnees from Europe had this uh, D six fourteen G mutation, and later uh, and uh, but at that time uh, the virus returnees from uh, Bangladesh or Middle East did not have this mutation, and then later in April we observed the, this mutation in community clusters seen in uh, Kalamu municipal area. And also late then uh, in in May we observed this this uh, this uh, this mutation was associated with uh, navy cluster and also in July with Kandakadu drug rehabilitation center cluster. So therefore, um, as seen globally from March to November, uh, this virus strain with D six fourteen G mutation became the became the predominantly circulating uh, virus strain in Sri Lanka. So uh, this D614G strain is actually as, as shown to associate it with higher viral loads, which means that if the person is infected with this viral, viral strain with this mutation, the patient is tend to shed higher viral load compared to patient uh, infected with this previous viral strain. So therefore, uh, according to our and, and therefore it has higher transmissibility as well. Therefore, uh, according to our findings viral strains carrying D614G mutation is likely to have displaced the uh, previous uh, strain, which has less trans transmissibility. And also uh, it might have caused this current outbreak. Thank you. And also uh, we are really grateful for our funding agencies, CDR, uh, WHO4, University of Richard, British High Commission as well. Thank you very much.